a star-studded revival of The Piano Lesson hits Broadway, and we're here to give you the ultimate guide. I'm Stephen for Innovative Theatrics, and this video is all about The Piano Lesson on Broadway. Now, make sure that you subscribe so that you never miss the inside scoop on a Broadway show. Let's dig in to see what it feels like to be inside the theater. A battle is brewing in the Charles household. At the center lies the family's prized heirloom piano. On one side, a brother plans to build the family fortune by selling it. On the other side, a sister will go to any length to keep it and preserve the family history. Only their uncle stands in between. But even he can't hold back the ghosts of the past. And yes, there are literal ghosts. August Wilson's Pulitzer Prize winning drama is making the first Broadway revival in more than 30 years since the play's mainstream premiere in 1990. Directed by Tony Award nominee LaTanya Richard Jackson, who is making her Broadway directorial debut and is the first woman to ever direct an August Wilson play on Broadway. This production is starring Samuel L. Jackson, John David Washington, and Danielle Brooks. The Piano Lesson is a 1987 play by American playwright August Wilson. It is the fourth play in Wilson's The Pittsburgh Cycle. Wilson began writing this play by playing with the various answers regarding the possibility of acquiring a sense of self-worth by denying one's past. The first production opened on November 26, 1987 at the Yale Repertory Theater and actually featured Samuel L. Jackson in the cast. The production then premiered on Broadway at the Walter Kerr Theater on April 16, 1990. The Piano Lesson was revived off-Broadway in 2012, which garnered several awards. Now it's time for all the merchandise news. There is a white t-shirt with the quote, I got a lot of woman left in me on the back, and the show logo on the front left breast. This show shirt will cost you $35. There is a standard show shirt with a gray base and the logo predominantly featured on the front. This will set you back $30. Moving along to the ever popular hoodie, this black hoodie features the show logo in white lettering and goes for $60. This show sports a long sleeve crew neck. This cold weather apparel comes in black and features the year that the play is set, 1936, boldly printed on the front with Pittsburgh PA in smaller lettering just below. This will cost you $50. They have a standard window card for $20, and can we talk about how the price hasn't changed in like 20 years? There is a regular show logo magnet that sells for $10. A silver water bottle with the show logo written in black will cost you $20. I will tell you that in my experience, these are not the most durable water bottles, but this one does have a retractable straw built in, which is kind of cool. There is a three button set featuring the show logo, the quote, I got a whole lot of woman left in me, and the quote, I'm living at the top of life. These three buttons are yours for only $15. They sell a silver flask with the show logo scripted in black for $15. You can take home your goodies in a $15 logo tote bag. And of course you can take home the play. They sell the paperback for $20 and a hardcover version for $30. And that wraps up the Piano Lesson merchandise. The Piano Lesson has a closing date of January 29th, 2023. Therefore, if you want to get tickets to the show, then you should get them now. If you're flexible on when you can see the show, then I recommend a few cost-saving ways to purchase tickets. There's an in-person rush, which simply means that you head to the box office on the day of the show and ask the box office manager if they have any rush tickets available. If they do, then you could snag $35 tickets. There is a digital lottery on Telecharge for $57. This lottery must be entered the day before the performance. It's more expensive than Rush, but it could save you time by trying your luck on your phone. Okay, so I gotta do the thing. Make sure that you subscribe and you like this video. That way it really helps me out. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. For more content, make sure you check out Innovative Theatrics on social media, on Instagram. I've been Steven. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time at the theater.